So the year is 2021 and you're wondering if it's a good idea to buy EF glass if you own a mirrorless Canon camera like the Canon R5 or R6. So let's dive into this. So here with me I have the Canon EF 16-35mm 2.8 and I also have a Canon RF 24-105 f4 which you would consider this to be the kit lens that comes with the R6, both phenomenal lenses and both obviously very different. So for me, why do I have both RF and EF glass? I do both photography and video. So for me, it makes more sense to have a lens like the older EF glass lens that has the mechanical focus instead of the new focus by wire feature that you can find in most mirrorless lenses. Now this is a little bit less than ideal to focus with. Um, it's a little less precise and it just does not give you an adequate tactile feedback when you're working with it. Um, if you're doing video as the you know traditional EF glass has that smooth focusing and it has those hard stops or kind of hard stops. So for me, the why is because I do video and mostly with the EF lenses that I do own, which is, this is not the only one that I do own, but uh, with the EF lenses that I do own, I do actually like to do video. And you might be wondering why not just use the super amazing Canon autofocus system that has like all that tracking stuff and whatnot. And that's a good point. And yes, that does work. And I do use that quite a bit and I do enjoy it, um, especially when I have to do any sort of like gimbal work or stuff like that, where I don't, you know, tend to interact with the lens or the camera that much. And I also found out that it works wonders in the Red Komodo. I hadn't really tested out. And the other day I went on a shoot and I just took this little guy and it worked very very well probably gonna do another video on the red komodo using rf glass and autofocus so stay tuned for that but you see with manual focus and uh this type of manual focus you tend to control a little bit better what you want to focus and when you want to focus and how you want to focus uh the speed of racking and if you're doing any type of like focus racking and stuff like that um so it's it, it gets you a little bit more connected with what you're doing but what if you only care or you care mostly about image quality or picture quality? Which one of these two is going to be better? And if that's you and you care a lot about, you know, image quality and getting the most out of your camera sensor, specifically if you have the Canon R5 with the higher megapixels and stuff like that, then I would suggest, yeah, go ahead and if you have the money, stick to uh, RF glass. It's uh, much cleaner. It handles a lot of situations much better than the older lenses. Uh, this particular lens right here is the version one and I got it because it was smaller and lighter. I didn't really care to get uh, anything other than this. Um, I just wanted a cheap alternative and something to always have a 16 to 35 handy. But this guy's not perfect. Um, I was shooting with it the other day and I noticed a lot of like flares, weird flares, not really pretty or characteristic. It was more of a kind of like an ugly flare, but it's, you know, it's because it's an older lens. It doesn't have all the coatings and all the technology that a new lens would have. So, and it's not to say that EF glass can't deliver you sharp and pristine images. However, RF glass has been manufactured with newer technology and it's taking advantage of a lot of things that have been learned over the years and it's also being made specifically for the sensors that we're using them on. If you are looking for that, then you stick to your RF glass. RF glass is hands down superior in every way. But for all the reasons that I mentioned before, I stick to both. So answering the question, is EF glass worth it in 2021 i'm gonna say yes ef glass is still very relevant and very good not only that it is much more affordable than the rf glass I'm talking about a big difference in the money that it costs to invest in rf glass however if we were to look at what's happening with lens mounts and the direction that everything is going, going the RF route is actually future-proofing all of your gear, which is something that I'm considering of doing. I would love to have more RF glass, but currently at the moment, I'm still sitting very comfortably with my EF glass because the EF glass in conjunction with the adapter that you can get from Canon works phenomenal. It works just like the RF glass. It's just as quick, just as responsive. There's no loss of performance at least i haven't noticed any and the truth is you can't go wrong with either and there you have it 
do with it what you will. Make your own choices about EF versus RF class and I'll catch you guys on the next one.